Why do we use MRI for research? MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, is a method used to see inside the human body. MRI is commonly used in hospitals to scan people's heads or other parts of the body. In this video, we will discuss what is MRI, how does MRI work, and we will show some different uses for MRI. But first, let's see what an MRI scanner looks like. MRI scanners have a large, tube-shaped magnet that creates a strong magnetic field. Inside the magnet, we can take images of the human body. The human body is made up of more than 50% water. Water has magnetic properties, and it interacts with the magnetic fields of the scanner and the surrounding molecules. The MRI scanner measures these interactions. With careful design, we can create images that highlight different tissue types, such as muscles or the brain. MRI is particularly suited to brain imaging. The brain is very complex and made up of many different regions or structures. These are connected to each other and involved in lots of different tasks or functions. MRI is particularly useful in research because it can show both brain structure and brain function or activity. One way that MRI can show brain structure is by creating images that clearly show different tissue types. For example, in this MRI image we can see the difference between grey and white matter in the brain. Grey matter is the body of nerve cells, whereas white matter is made up of long fibres called axons that connect these cells. Water molecules behave differently in these two environments. This means we can create images that clearly show the location of grey and white matter in the brain. A second example is this image of dark blood vessels in the brain. Here, we used an MRI measurement that is sensitive to magnetic properties of the blood. This makes it possible to create images where the blood vessels stand out more than the surrounding tissue. These two examples show how we can visualise different structures using MRI. This is very useful for research. For example, we can use the first image to compare the thickness of grey matter for different groups of people. Or, in the second image, we can look for abnormalities in the blood vessels. Using MRI, we can also detect and localise brain activity, or function. This is called functional MRI. When a person is doing something, for example looking at a picture, distinct regions of the brain are active. In functional MRI, these areas are highlighted. We explain this more in another video called How Does Functional MRI Work? MRI can also show us how different areas of the brain are connected. For example, when we read, our brain processes images in an area called the visual cortex. It then sends information to other areas of our brain that let us understand the meaning of words. MRI is particularly useful for research because we can repeat MRI scans lots of times without any harm. If you are interested in MRI safety, please watch another video in this series which looks at the safety and experience of having an MRI scan. To summarise, why do we use MRI for research? MRI is a safe imaging technique. It can produce lots of different and detailed images of the human body and it can be repeated many times. The Department of Imaging Neuroscience at UCL uses cutting-edge techniques to advance our understanding of the human brain. With the help of MRI, our neuroscience research teams investigate brain structure and function and how they relate to our behaviour, thoughts and feelings.